that might partially be partially be my fault because I load because I uh I started the stream for literally like less than half a second on accident and I was like oops I may have uh f fucked it up the way it loaded ever so slightly <laughs> oopsie hello everybody welcome back to the stream hope you're all having a good Wednesday and we are back little bit of a surprise in that I didn't really say much about it but so today we're gonna be playing a story driven artsy game called 1111 memories retold it is a world war one story and you know for those of you who do not know world war one is probably the most deadly and pointless war in human history you know in terms of like the venn diagram right you know like plenty plenty of wars that were pointless like the zimbabwe 20 minute war but like like nobody died so like nobody gives a shit right But yeah, so, might be a little bit melancholy, but it's been sitting in my Steam uh, library for, like, two years, because I got it for, like, three dollars or some shit. And I was like, oh, I could stream this. And now I finally just decided I should. So, let's, uh, get into it and, uh, see how it goes. Hopefully it is not, uh, too, uh, weepy, though it probably will be, because that's probably the point. Why else do you make a World War One story game, like... Oh boy. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how intensive the graphics will be. So I may or may not keep Asahi on or off. We'll see. Do the soldiers get put in the respawn machine? No, this isn't Battlefield. No, if you, if you die here, you die forever. Fuck off, Asus. God damn it. Uh, why did we go to full screen? God damn it. I didn't tell you to go to full screen. I specifically told you to not be... You know what? Um... Is that fitting correctly? Yes, there. there. Now it's fitting correctly. I set it to... I set it to be fit based upon this, but for some reason it reverted right there. Make sure you tell me if I am too loud or if the game is too loud, but, uh... Here we go, let's take a look. Ardman Digital Arts 1111 Memories Retold. A watercolor painting. November, November 1916, two years until peace. Ardman, whoa, so he's like an animator primarily. He's, that's not, he's not like a game studio person. So this is like just, this is really an artsy fartsy game. Toronto, Canada, huh? That's enough. You, you want to know what people don't remember about World War One and Two is that Canada was there. My story starts like so many others, with a girl. Relatable. A girl who worked in a <laughs> photography store in a quiet little corner of Toronto, Canada. Julia. What are you doing, Harry? Are you meant to be playing with that camera? <laughs> this is the first person. The two of us grew up together, born the same month, lived on the same block. To her, we were best friends. To me? Well, never mind. I know you have to test it, but does it always have to be on me? Yes. Frame Julia and take a picture. All right. Well, you're not getting a serious photo out of me. I can assure you of that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I shall be silly until you put that camera away. How about now, Harry? How do I look? Ooh, you look like you're made of a watercolor painting is what you look like. 
three pictures. Press, uh, is that backspace? Backspace to enter photo mode at any time and press E to take a free picture. As film was expensive, photographers were limited to 16 pictures a day. Interesting. Right. I have to get back to work now. You oh, shit. Morning, Mega Man. Morning, Mr. How may I help? A portrait, perhaps, in that fine uniform. Interesting. I'm looking for a photographer. Well, there's... I'm actually turning my mouse sensitivity down. Forgive me, but have we met before? Your face looks familiar. Um, Done the old recruitment poster. that's oh, Crouch. Welcome. How are things over in your major? As well as can be expected, we fight the good fight as best we can. Fine place you have here. Do you pay commissions, outside assignments? Okay, so here's the problem. I don't... Come over here and say hello. Okay, so they mentioned earlier that my picture taking key bind was like this this key that looked like the reverse of a backspace but the backspace isn't uh working or rather or rather it's that the key isn't actually a backspace it's something else and i don't know what it is because i tried to hit backspace to take the free picture and it's just not working um maybe i'm just not allowed to take to try it right now Uh Okay, I'm here. Uh what do I press? I don't I don't know what I press. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Julia. Martin Barrett. And the pleasure's all mine. So, this Harry lad, can he use a camera? That he can. He has one redeeming feature, maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> Some wine, boy. The good stuff upstairs. All right. This is pretty. Uh oh. This might be a. This might be an egg frying game. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Hold on a moment. Just to be safe, I'm gonna turn Asahi off because uh, this this shaping up to potentially be an egg fryer. So. Fortunately, this is gonna be have to, how we have to do this. Also, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Go over here and look at the what? What? Okay, but what is this? What key is this? I don't know what key this is. Oh, it's this tab. Oh, it's tab. Oh, bring some wine for the major. Oh. Upstairs. It's tab. Okay. <laughs> what is this? What's this paper? Oh, I can either use scroll wheel or the arrow keys. Exit is what? Spacebar. There we go. Hands across. The oh man, this is this game is gonna take a while. <laughs> oh, you need to find all parts to unlock the story be behind this collectible. So I have to find both. Both halves. Okay. It's very weird that spacebar is back, but it's fine. Your time, boy. Useless. Poor bastard. I'm sure he's trying his best. <laughs> Here you are, Major. To your help. Why, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Now, you said something about needing a photographer? Yes, yes. 
Who took these? They're exceptional. Just the kind of pictures I'd need in the fight against the Germans. Uh-oh. At the same moment, Zeppelin Factory, Germany. Ah, oh, blödes Funkgerät. Kurt, du bist der Techniker. Reparier das Ding. Brenn immer um dieselbe Zeit durch. Schnell, die Berichte kommen gleich. Oh, no. Guys? Guys, I'm gonna need you to unironically read the subtitles. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to speak over them speaking while there are also subtitles. That's like three layers of information that is going to be very messy to listen to. So I'm afraid I'm probably going to have to ask you to read the subtitles yourselves. <laughs> okay. E and D to move the elements. Das richtig gehört, Kurt? IA 125? In der Einheit des Aufstands von Max, oder? Okay, so they just heard a radio signal about a about a unit and 16 men going missing, and apparently our this new character's son is among them. Alles noch unbestätigt. Ist wahrscheinlich gar nichts, aber ich sag's den anderen. Probably nothing. Uh, I'll confirm with the others, I think is what he just said. So the problem is that I have bad short-term memory, okay? I have gold I have worse than goldfish memory, so like I'm gonna read what they said and then just not remember. Crouch is the same, okay. Dear Katrin, I've done something I know you will not agree with. Oh it's about Max. It's about our son. I know now why his letters on not reaching at the front. Okay, so at least our main character, our, our main German character here is uh, gonna actually speak English so that uh, it's not too confusing. Not a room I can go into. Gut, wir warten schon. We've been waiting. Pull the lever. The honor should be yours. It's the medic. Oh, shut up. Oh man, this looks dangerous. Das wird mir wohl nie langweilig. Never get tired of that moment. Almost done. One more lever over there, just in front of the ladder. You know, maybe I will just talk over them. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. If I'm loud enough and it's not too uh, disorienting. So they're building one of the legendary Zeppelins. Zeppelin warfare is really fucking awesome. But at the same time, it, it it lasted like only four years because it's really, really inefficient. <laughs> it's really bad, you know, unless you have canyon crowns. <clears throat> because the problem with Zeppelins is that even though they're these really big things that are really scary, there are these really big things that are very easy to hit with bullets. Oh, Falk, I was looking for you. He's, he's on one of the higher platforms. Falk is looking for you, excuse me. Okay. Not gonna lie, I wanna explore a little bit. Thanks, Kurt. Beautiful, isn't it? Is this guy following me? Falk. Keep your spirits up, friend. Okay. The reason World War One is like one of the most pointless wars in history is because it was basically just a chain reaction 
of uh, alliance treaties going into effect in response to like one or two assassinations. So like a bunch of countries ended up fighting against each other for not really a lot of good motivation. You know, World War II made a lot of sense because like Germany was literally trying to conquer the all of Europe. That's not really what was going on in World War One, though. World War One it was a lot different. It was like these minor Eastern European powers that assassinate each other, and then it, suddenly the entire world started fighting all at the same time. And, and even then, honestly, it wasn't even the whole world. It wasn't even a true world war. It was it was mostly just Europe, <laughs> and like a bit of North America, bit of the North Americans. There hasn't been like a world war that actually reached mainland America except one time in World War Two. I'd love to send a picture of this to my son. We need a photographer. <laughs> I'll be so proud when this ship finally flies. You're not gonna be proud when it gets shot down with ease. Come on, talk to me. What a magnificent sight. We serve our country well, Kurt. Is there a run button? Yay! Shift to run! Excellent. Okay, shift to run. Hello, motherfucker? I miss home. And no kidding. You remember, and here we are from Kirby Forgotten Land? It's the lab voice of the lab tour before the melty line happens. I vaguely remember. Apologies. Again, goldfish memory. That's where we came from. I hope we don't have limited sprint. I'm gonna be annoyed if we have limited sprint. I have to hold up? Alright. Ooh, yeah, this is an egg fryer, guys. Ooh. This is an egg fryer. Zeppelin card, okay. God, can you go faster? No, 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 I need to, I need to, I need to stop being impatient. I need to get rid of, I need to not have you know, just really, really bad streamer brain here and actually accept that some games are a bit slow. Oh, I wanted some sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. War bonds. That was a thing nobody liked. Except the government. No, no, I mean, I like doing that too. It's just that streamer brain makes me have this haste idea in my head where it's like, I need to go faster. Even though I don't really need to go faster. It's just that, like, the, uh... The, the, uh, the, op the, uh, the pressure of, oh, we only have two hours. Uh, oh, let me. How do I get to the collectibles? Here we go. War bonds. Germany in 1916. With more than 70,000 casualties in the year, 1916 is the start of the decline of German morale. Many veterans are missing and hunger is increasing in the country. The naval blockade by France and the British Empire is having an effect. Document from Robin Schaefer. Signed war bonds. The army and fleet is expected from you. Can you fucking believe that? 70,000 men are dead. Stardew is an oddity because it's just like, it's supposed to be a chill game, but it has this timer in it where I'm like, I need to do everything I possibly can. Ever, you know. 
But even then, I'm still I still constantly for no reason will just go back and hug my spouse, <laughs> even though there's no point. There's no benefit. But there are plenty of games where I just look at where I just look at stuff. It's just it's specifically when streaming that my brain is like I'm on a timer. True. Oh man. This isn't OSHA approved. Imagine slipping on a banana peel here. I don't know if Rem Lazar would uh, would um, approve of. Uh, I don't know if he would approve of a uh, war. Oh, whoops. Oh, wow. Let me go around now. Okay, so sometimes it auto crouches. Just fine. I'm fine with. This is so fucking scary. From another place and not from time and space, but someplace even higher. Ramazar. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. This is scary. This is. I cannot believe that this is a thing. Can I make. Many of us stationed here at the factory, I didn't. They all join up together from the same village. Wolf said it wasn't confirmed. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Okay, so I don't consider this. I want to believe that. But that was their unit number, and this is war. Kurt, your son Max is in the same unit. You must be worried too? Relax, you're only worrying because you're all so far away from home. Can you ask the chief, Kurt? He'll know, and he respects you. So the pictures from Taylor's new camera were great. And Julia looked beautiful. But I'd never tell her that, of course. Oh, you Later fucking on, dumbass. I kept one of those photos. Still have it to this day. I'm trying to think of which one is the most booba. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. I'm going to say this one. Job. There's no rush. I'm sure the lad's tried his best. So make it a good one, boy. How do I? Oh God. Okay. Point of interest. Taking these pictures is your choice. What you photograph will influence Harry's principles. I forgot what. Objective picture. These are your current objectives as a photo as a photographer. Taking these pictures will often be required to progress the game. Nice. Contemplation. <laughs> Major, would you also mind a picture with my daughter, Julia? Not at all. It would be my pleasure. Come here, girl. In you get. Make sure you frame them both in, Harry. Come on, girl. Cut and bite. Tell me, Major. Are you married? Father! Whoops! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait for them to change position a bit. There we go. <laughs> I wanted to take one specifically awkward. Your reaction to things will cause him to become a certain type of person. <laughs> True 
truth be told, I wish it was me in that photo. The way she was around Barrett. <laughs> I've never seen her like that before. Julia was right. He was a hero. I'm not... It is so... The chief must know something. We have to ask him. Most of the boys from back home are in that unit. IR-125. Please, Kurt, ask the chief. You've known him the longest. He respects you. I could ask the chief the rumor. He will know the truth, okay? This guy is so fucking tall and massive. I can barely... I feel like half the screen is covered because of how big this man is. God damn it. It's very hard, you know, it, it's really hard to get over uh, just how strange it was back in the day, how, um, like, 16-year-old girls were, like, married to, like, 40-year-old men. People were weird back then. It was so bizarre. And certainly people are pretty degenerate nowadays, but... There's like this subtle degeneracy that old traditional societies had that I'm glad it's gone. We all did. So many of us at the factory have sons who went to war together. Some were even in the same unit as Max. The chief had a direct line of communication to the front. If anyone knew the truth behind these rumors, it would be him. Biogra I wonder how biographical this is. Can I ask you something, Doc? You ever felt like you were being watched? Ah, Sie kommen genau richtig. Ah, Kurt, just the man. I've got news. Oh, man. You've got news? Okay, I'm gonna follow him. Some men from IR-125 may be missing, but that does not mean they are dead. Yes, it does. They're fucking dead. We will know more soon enough, but for now we must keep working. We cannot help them now. We can only pray. The others may have been content to pray, to hope for the best, but I could not. What became of our son's unit? I had to know. <laughs> uh, press F to pay respects moment, but except this is actually really dark as fuck. Oh my god. E to enlist. So I have gone to the front, Katrina. I have gone to find Max. I'm impressed, Harry. You're a real professional with that camera. Listen, I'm heading back to France in a few days. You should join me. Help your country, take a few photos, return home a hero. And remember, Harry, women love a man in uniform. And it was in that very moment I decided... <sighs> I was going to war. 70, 70,000 men on from one country died I left. I never looked back. in one year. Even though it would get her in trouble, Julia gave me Mr. Taylor's best camera. Truth be told, I didn't ever want to go to war. I only ever wanted that uniform. Maybe one day Julia would look at me the way she looked at Major Barrett. After that, it was all a bit of a blur. So much happened over that next month. They signed me up, put me on a train to the coast. They even gave me that uniform. You will think I'm impulsive, but to me there, there was no choice. Our son is missing at war. I, I, I cannot deal with doubt. I will not live with uncertainty. 
This is my path now. You say that as a joke, but that's like, but like women in work uniforms, that's big tomboy energy and that, uh, that, that attracts intelligent, well-mannered people. <laughs> December 1916, two years until peace. Oh, I get to pick who I go with. I, uh, I like both the characters. I'm going to pick Harry for now, though, because I don't have to fucking voice over his stuff. And before I knew it, I was taking photos in the middle of the ocean. I'd never even left Canada, let alone been on a ship before. You could have fit Taylor's whole photography store on the front deck alone. Yes, that is a that is a very very high I tier trope. Each morning to practice with my camera, we must have been close to shore that day. For the first time in weeks, I saw birds. Yeah, right now I can't really. Okay, hold on. Birds, where are the birds? turn around for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to get this without a rope. God damn it. I'm trying to see this without the rope next to it. Okay, yeah, in a moment. Keep discard. It kind of looks terrible. How do I turn my camera all the way around? Oh, whatever. Like, I don't know where the birds are. Where are the birds? Okay, there it is. That's not close enough. I want to get as close as possible. Uh -huh. Whoa! Okay, it's not flying away. This isn't a good angle. I want to be... I want the ocean to be behind it. Come on! Turn around! Turn around! Motherfucker! Turn in the direction that I want you to be. Okay. I'm gonna fucking have a conniption. No! Okay, here we go. Let's crouch. Here we go. Nope, that's too much. Gonna have a conniption. I'm gonna have a conniption. I'm gonna have a fucking conniption fit. Okay, is there the another? The camera Julia gave me was marvelous. The best I'd ever used. I could even change the lens to see things close up. So it said bird picture one out of three, so I assume it flew somewhere else. Like right here. Aha. Now this is better. Damn it. That was the wrong button. Nice. Where'd he go this time? Both were easy. I'd had more trouble with customers back home. Ha. Let's get a bit closer. I want the bell and the bird at the same time. I need to get a bit far away if I want that. Well, hmm. That's eh, fine, I suppose. But once we arrived, I didn't know what to expect. 
Everyone said the Germans were crazy. At the same moment, German train to the Western Front. And so I'm on a train heading out of Germany, where I write to you now. It's not a comfortable journey, being on this train. For you, my darling, nothing changed. I will still be away from home. Only now, I will carry out my duties as an engineer on the front lines. I will enclose a letter to Lucy to tell her I, I have gone to find her brother. Oh, he, he has a son and a daughter, but his daughter obviously doesn't go to war. <laughs> That's not what they did back in the days. It was only it, only men who die. Oh, boy. Um, your talk is uh, what day is it? Oh, quiet town. We'll be back home in a month or two. Not likely, the way things have been going for us on the front. Right, the French have held Verdun, and when the Americans join, America won't get involved. The other side of the world, they don't care. The Kaiser knows what he's doing. We've nothing to worry about. Yep, that, they had a fucking, like, warlord government back then. That's what the Kaiser is. Kind of. Ugh, locked. Is this allowed? Did they just let their own soldiers walk on top of the train? Jump! Jump! No. So you sort of can half sprint while crouching. Okay. This is an absolute egg fryer. Holy shit. Huh? Who is that? Stop right there. This is the munitions cart, soldier. You can't be in here. If anything happens, even the slightest knock... Have you seen what these mines can do? Mine? Up early as usual, Harry. You're keen. I like that in my men. <laughs> Photographs of seagulls won't make the papers, son. Or are they for that girl back home? Trust me, she's not interested. Oh, fuck but off. She will be, once you and I make those headlines together. Come on, let's get a few practice shots up at the bow. Get the flag in the photo, Harry. People love that kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do earlier. So how do I look best? Um, let's go a bit, maybe around here. Harry, over here, son. Let's try some. That's okay. Here's an idea. You, private, get over here on the double. <laughs> That's it. Smile for the camera, my lad. So I want I want the private to have a, a a good pose as well. I don't want him to look too awkward. I want him to feel included and all that. He he doesn't look like he wants to pose though. So last one, Harry. Let's try one with the ocean in the background. Right, 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 right. Yeah, with the sunset. Yeah, that, that's pretty nice. I think that's okay. Wait. Mines. Mines! Wow, took you a while to see that. Try the next cart down. I'm sure there'll be someone who can help. And mind yourself on the way out. <laughs> mind yourself.
When you sit in the sun like a cat gremlin, so you when you go to the pantry for baking paper, you can't fucking see shit. Yeah. No, 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 no. I want, I want, I want this. Give me this. Man, I've already missed so many collectibles. Like I missed, I missed the second half of both of these already. That's crazy. Train sick? I've never heard of train sick before. Uh. Oh, I'm stupid. I hit A instead. Okay. That's strange. And hey, here's a kitty cat! You can't see it very well, but there's a kitty cat. I'm not gonna lie, I wonder if this is a biographical story. A soldier's equipment. For both sides, uniform material is strong and thick. It weighs up to 25 kilograms with rifle and ammunition. It is designed to keep the soldier warm during snowstorms and rain. In 1916, the iconic German spiked helmets were replaced by the Stahlhelm, which also provides the model for German helmets in World War II. Document from Robin Schaefer. Carl get Oh, God, I can't... Carl goes on vacation. Carl! We send you to Germany, Carl. You know, in 1916, Carl. Okay, kill! I'm gonna fall! Christ, we're the only ones here. We need to let the captain know. Listen, ring the bell on the right if the ship should steer right. Or ring the bell on the left if the ship should steer left. <laughs> Look lively, lad. I'll tell the captain. You keep your eyes on the sea. So, there I was, running left and right, ringing those bells like I was in church. I don't expect you to believe me, but I'm telling you, that's what happened. To this day, I don't know why Barrett asked me to signal the captain. But for the first time in my life, I felt like I had purpose. Whoa. Ah! ah! I got us killed. I got us killed. I got us killed. I got us killed. Uh, cancel. 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 I'm so I got us killed again. No, wait, we're dead. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's a good question about Sphinx cats. I, there, I have, do I have several questions about them that are similar to that. Look at these bitches. Fucking screaming and screaming and screaming about dying. You'll be fine. You know, this isn't the Psalm. It's just it's just the ocean. Okay, we're fine now. and bruises, but we're alive. Well done, lad. Keep it up, and that girl back home will be yours in no time. Ha! Now there's a photo for you, Harry. The King's Finest. Clearing the path to our victory. Wait, what? 
Did he just dead ass say for the Empire? Oh my god. Additional words. The more you speak and listen to people, the more you will be able to tell your family. You will know to talk to him. Good to meet you, my friend. The name's Lothar. <gasps> First, do you like music? If so, take a seat. I'll play some more. It's Anduin Lothar. Oh my god! And so I've found somewhere to write, to focus on what I must tell our daughter. I will, of course, be careful of the words I use. She is still so young. Please tell Lucy. Think carefully about what you will tell Kurt's eight-year-old daughter. It will have an impact on the story. Papa has gone away to war, but I am not alone. I met some men today who played music. It reminded me of, of you, my child. I wish you could have heard it. Vimmy? What the fuck is Vimmy? Okay, so like, I know she's a child, but I refuse to lie. Papa left because your brother Max has gone missing. Nobody knows where he is, and Papa must find him. It is my duty as his father. I re like, I, un I, I understand that, like, you don't... Like, it's not... Some young children have a hard time understanding some really bad shit, but I... I, refi I I'm not gonna... I refuse to lie. I hope to come be back for Christmas, Lucy. I already know what present I will get you. I hope she will understand. I hope you both will understand. I like this game. Fortune smiled on me, Katrin. I've made new friends. Franz and Lothar. We play cards when we have the time, and talk of home often. They're good men. I have arrived now, stationed at Vimy as an engineer. Engineers can use the radios, and I will listen for news of Max every single day. We spent weeks on that boat, and it was a few weeks more before we got to Vimy. I was so excited. Hell. I was like a kid at Christmas. So Vimy is the city they're fighting the over. Looking out for me. I wouldn't have to worry about the war. Maybe it's a province in Canada that they're fighting over. March 1917. 20 months until peace. Was it February last time? In, okay, yeah. Vimy, Vimy Ridge, German side. Surroundings of Arras, France. Let's go, Harry again. Have to worry about taking photos. This is it, Harry. Vimy. Follow me, son. I passed through here on my way back to Canada. Hasn't changed a bit. Dig, 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 dig. Come, I'll show you where you can send letters home. Yeah, it's gonna show me where the postman is. Maybe I'll send something to Julio. I saw you in the papers, sir. Looking as sharp as ever. You're too kind. Any correspondence from Canada? Nice. I could take 15 photos every time we swap chapters. 
Ooh, the British flag is flying right here. Let's let's try this. I need to be a little bit farther away. If I want to get like a perfect zoom. Yeah. Whoops, wrong button. I forget if I kept that or not. I'm stupid. Just one for uh, Harry Lambert. You know him? That'll be from the pretty one back home, no doubt. There. From a Julia Tyler. Ah! <gasps> she said. I still can't believe you left. Our own Harry Lambert taking photographs of the Great War. It doesn't seem real somehow. My father knows his best camera is missing. He suspects you have it, but I told him it's not in your nature to steal. I won't tell if you won't. I know you're only there to take photographs, but I do worry about you, Harry. Stay close to Major Barrett. He seems like a good man who will surely keep you safe. Please write back as soon as you receive this. Send a picture if you can. Yours sincerely, Julia. Meet me by the three artillery cannons over there. Right. I'll show you the kind of photos we need. You gonna reply? Folk back on love receiving pictures. Send a picture home to Julia. The picture you send to Julia will affect the way she feels about you. Send her pictures of this motherfucker. I like this one. It's just that the 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 gloopy graphics make the bird kind of look a, a little underwhelming. I think this one is also pretty nice because the bird looks really good here, and the the whole flag is in here. I think I'll I think I'll go with this one. Don't worry. She'll get your letter in a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. This is a cool little device here. I think I took a picture of that specific fellow, though. Oh, the locomotive. Hello. Thank God for the rum. Thank God for the rum. Oh, this looks cozy. We're going to take a picture of this. Definitely. I want to make sure... Oh, we can get the locomotive and the tree and the guitar in one frame. discarded that last photo I took because I, I feel like a dumbass. Okay. God, look at these fucking buildings that have been obliterated. God, that's fucked up. Like, it's so lively, but it's just so fucked up in every conceivable fashion. Alright, I can run. Or jog or whatever. You know what? We should also take pictures of how bad things are. It shouldn't just be all sunshine and roses. Because this is obviously like the worst, one of the worst wars in human history. Mm. 
take pictures of corpses from Morishi. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, look at all this ammo. Look at all this ammunition. I like stuff that explodes. Yes. But he said yes. Yeah, you better you better think it's nice. Fellas, okay. That's right on the little things. That's what will get you through. <laughs> Must remember to write home today. Fucking British. Oh, camera. Uh, excuse me. Are you a photographer? Could you take my photo? My family back home would love to receive a picture of me. You're the only photographer that is. Do you mind? Oh yeah, I forgot. Like, for some reason, like, like Arabia was like a part of the the allies in this war. I don't know how that happened. Hey, how you doing, Jess? Gossiping soldiers. It'd be interesting to have them in frame as well. It's not have too much sky. Okay, I, I uh, took your picture. But, uh, is that not what you wanted? I guess he only wanted himself. Wine reserve. Okay, he only wanted himself. Uh, how about something like this? Thank you. Here, I found this. It's not much, but... Oh, he's in he's Indian. I'm stupid. I'm retarded. I am the stupidest motherfucker on Earth. I'm s the stupidest motherfucker on the face of the Earth. Okay. Wine. Game is suggesting I should take a picture of this, so. So I did. Hello, person. The war will be over soon. They've been saying that for years. Can I climb up this? Hell yeah. I think we're going to take a picture of the artillery from all the way up here because this is badass. Like, look at this. Look at this! God damn! This is gorgeous. Uh, well, you know, in the in the absolutely horrific way. What was that? Locomotive. Very nice. I really, really, really hope that these cameras photos I'm taking are not saving as screenshots on this computer. I don't have a lot of room. <laughs> like it's it's all it's often neat whenever a game does that, but I'd really rather not have them on my on, the, on my computer. <laughs> you feel that, Harry? That rumble? That's the real war. Just a few miles away. So that big bastard right there is Vimy Ridge. I can't wait to get my hands dirty and take it back from the bush. This will be a great picture. Front page of the star. I can see it now. 
Ooh. Ooh, this is genuinely a good picture. There are people you meet who change your life forever. People who, whether they know it or not, plot your life on a different course from the moment that they say hello. For me, that was the major. I will always wonder what my life would have been like without him. I was slow on that. I should have taken that much faster so I got the planes at a better, uh, in a better view. But I didn't get them in a very good view right there. My search for our son grows more hopeful by the day. Every day I ask the men if they have news. That was the same? Somehow they have seen our boy. What if that was the same planes? Just like any other. I wonder if uh, that was the same exact plane that just went over Harry. Camaraderie? We're busy, Kurt. Don't you have something to fix? Well, fuck you too, chum. I have like 14 gigabytes right now to have the stream and the edited stream. <laughs> Hello, Kurt. How are you? This again? I told you. Looks like a second division uniform. I really don't think they came to Vin Vimmy, Kurt. Sorry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I must find my son, or I will do something. I don't know. Hello. Hello. Not again. I wish I could help you. Sorry. You're more likely to hear news through the radio, Kurt. I thought I talked to three dudes. Hello, Kurt. Hello, Kurt. I met some boys from that regiment. Heard they were going to the SOM! Oh my god, the SOM! I think I'm, I'm mad to seek the same information from the same places, day after day. But persistence always pays off in the end. Katrin, for today I learned of his location. I know where Max is now. Oh my god, the SOM! Oh my god! <laughs> Recruitment always need good, patriotic pictures. We need more troops if we're going to win this thing. And they'll enlist because of your photos, son. Capture the imagination of your fellow countrymen. Stir the emotions. Hmm. Looks like there's prisoners being transferred through here. I should give them the once over. Dismissed. The hole is greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah, for those of you who don't know anything about the World War One, the Somme is basically, like, the most legendary meat grinder. You know, like, I know people so sort of sort of know about Verdun nowadays, but the Somme is, like, that's, like, the place where, like, tens of thousands of people were dying, like, every day, literally every day, to machine gun fire and fucking toxic gas. It was, it was so bad. And disease, and disease. It was literally like one of the worst parts of the war pro possible. Nobody won. It was just nothing but just dead young men everywhere. Wasn't Tolkien in the Somme? I know that Tolkien was in World War One. I. I don't know if he specifically went to the Somme, though. I've got an idea. Follow me. It'll be fun. Sure. You're a, good, you're a nice dude. The Canadian recruitment office needs four pictures. Okay. Right, this is it. Jump in. I'll take you around the camp. I'm sure you'll see plenty of things to photograph. I'm just Winder, by the way, but everyone here calls me Jazz. What's your name? I'm Harry. Pleased to meet you, Harry. Hey, do you like music? I have a guitar. Me and some of the others like to play. Maybe you should join us later. Do you play cards? There's always a game going on somewhere. Sorry, I'm distracting you. You need to take your photos. I just like to make people feel welcome.
Already took a picture of the artillery. Is there a way I can like stand up? Here's my unit. Most of us are from a place called Amritsar. You should visit. Where? Uh. Welcome to this side of the line, Jerry. I'm Major Barrett, and I'm your new best friend. Pleased to meet you. This would make a good picture. Show everyone back home how hard we're working. Nice. Your photos will be famous. I know it. The Major had taken a chance. He could have had any photographer he wanted, but he chose me. And I was desperate not to disappoint him. Boys, listen. I really am trying to stay calm here. But you are not making this easy. Not easy. What if Max is one of these prisoners? Oh, I need a drink. Someone keep an eye on them. We should get the prisoners a drink too. It's good karma. You know this word? Karma? It doesn't matter. You get water, <laughs> I'll get food. Let's go. I like Jess, he's funny. And he has a better accent than all these British British sounding motherfuckers. Get a closer a close up of them. Mm. Now we're keeping it. It's well nearby. Yes, 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 yes. Wait. Where, where? Uh, I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went. This is not a well. I don't know where Jas went. Fuck. I'm just following the ra the railroad. Fuck. I don't know where I'm going. He's a good, friendly guy, therefore he's dead. Yeah, probably. Not untrue. This isn't the well. Move along, friend. Just for that? Just for that, motherfucker? Now, you will never have me move along ever again. Oh. The uh, thing here. Collectible railway. These are hard to see. This train here had a happy little accident. <laughs> we were laughing for days. The officers didn't find it funny, though. Yeah, no shit. It's just unbelievable how, like, both sides in this war... They treat, like, the officers and the aristocrats basically treated this war like it was a fucking game. Like, they did not give a shit that they were literally sending tens of thousands of young men to be turned to pulp by machine guns. They were like, nope, just keep charging, just keep charging. Day in and day out. It's like they were playing StarCraft and they're like, oh, we can lose all these Zerglings, who cares? Like, they did not give a shit. Oh, here's another one. Overseas Club, India. Can I please know what's happening? Okay. Cultural diversity. The men brought to Europe from the ally Allies' colonies created a mix of very different cultures. Religious practices are strong, and the army tries to make sure everyone can still live in respect of their rules. For example, the Indians cannot eat beef or drink alcohol. This complicates logistics at the front. Today's cemeteries contain graves from each religion, and World War I is commemorated even in small villages in India. Document from Peter Doyle, Overseas Clubs, India. This picture shows the happiness your pennies will give. 
Nice. I don't know where the fuck that guy went. One of the perks here is the wine. It's French. And bloody delicious. These barrels are full of it. All for the men at the front. Of course, there's still plenty for us here. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because that was like a hundred years ago that the penny was worth that much. That was literally a hundred. That was like a hundred years ago. Like I said, she'll get your letter soon. Relax. <laughs> no. Like I said she'll get your letter soon. Relax. No, I will never relax. Where did Where did Jas go? I don't know where he went. I don't know where the well is. This fucking water here in the ground is not a well. That's for sure. Guns here are not a well. That's for sure. Maybe I go around over here? I mean, there's nothing saying that can't happen, Rag. For all we know. The way the camera is interacting with my mouse is like really, really strange. That's not a well. That's a dead end. I shouldn't have stopped to take pictures. I should have followed him. Now I don't know where the fuck he is. I am literally just going everywhere at this point. That's, blo that's, that's blocked off. There's a very distinct, like, wall of random shit that's stopping me from going a certain distance. So I am trying to figure out where the fuck the lim where the fuck the well is within this limit. This isn't the well. This is like a crashed thing. It's like partially on fire. Oh, here. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Here's a well. God damn it. Uh, I have to hold A, okay. Well, well, well. Honestly, who in the fuck would want to drink, like, well water out of a bucket? Let's be real here. Does anybody really want to do that? Like, I don't trust a bucket. That's a hell of Tommy. Did he just threaten you, Harry? Hmm. I can't be having that now. That looks like Max. No, Bring what? Camera. This may not be kind, but it is, alas, necessary. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. No! No! Oh my god! Now leave us be, Harry. That's an order. No! 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 Put it down. Put. Stop it. You look like a fucking asshole. That's that's funny. No, fu fuck you. There you go. There, that's better. I don't like. Oh my god, please. Hey, Harry. I I just heard my. Was that Max? Are you heading to the front too? 
We'll have an adventure, you and I. Gut, Gott sei Dank. Das Funkgerät ist wieder kaputt. Kannst du mal nachsehen? Ja? Kurt, the radio just broke. Do you think you could fix it? Da kann ich dir nicht helfen. Kurt. Can't help you with that, Kurt. Your best bet is fixing the radio. Ich hab gehört, die I heard the spare parts arrived this morning. You should check. Sieh doch mal nach. Man, was that Max that got executed? He looked similar. You know, white man with short brown hair isn't exactly the most unique looking person ever, so it might not be Max. Can I walk back outside like a fucking piece of shit? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Watch me get lost. This war will be over in a couple of months. Sure it will. What the fuck is this? Oh, what? No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't need a... We need Redbird to tell us if the German is real. <laughs> I got an achievement. Top four, top floor, please. Use one of the lifts at Vimy's Ridge, okay? Every war will be over soon. Yes, yeah, soon is relative. It's not so cold. It's so cold here at night. Well, yeah, it's it's uh, you know, it's France. I think France is slightly north of Germany, right? So they they're a little they're a little bit colder. Do this, do that. You never see the officers get dirty. Yeah. Who to thunk it? Never thought I'd say it, but I really miss my wife. That is one of the boom most boomer things you could have possibly said. I never thought I'd say it, but I actually miss my wife. Wow. Wow. No wonder. Stupid war. Yeah, you told him. You said it. You said it, bro. I wonder what is going on back home. I must remember to write home today. I think they're just waiting or playing cards. I'm going to take a small piece of cake and decorate it when it's cooled. It'll be either very ugly or very pretty, but I will try my best. You, you, you're talented. I think uh, you can do it. And even if you don't, you just learned something anyway, so it's fine. Go away. <laughs> okay, asshole. Sure. Your thing, dickhead. The way this game interacts with my mouse cursor is very strange. I have to really, like, constantly reorient it. guy gonna say anything to me? Okay, I think, uh, let's go fix the radio. I don't... The collectibles in this game are really hard to see, so I don't think I want to necessarily run around looking for it. Hello, Kurt. Hello, Kurt. We got supplies in today. Here. Any news about Max? Oh, what? Did I need that? I didn't know that I needed this. Is this for fixing the radio? I guess it is. Oh, boy. Okay, uh... Ah, uh, it's a puzzle of some sort. Oh no, I should I shouldn't use my mouse. I should. What the 
is going on? What am I doing? Here's today's reports. I listened to the radio for hours before I heard. Bodies retrieved from IR-125. They are to be buried at the Somme. The Somme. Catherine. Okay, no, that... Boy, is the, Somme? the kid that was executed was not our son. It's many miles from here, but I will ask for a transfer. I'm sure they will understand. Okay, yeah, so, uh... The kid who was executed is not... As I write this, it reminds me of home, of the life we once had. Every day I ask for a transfer to the sum, to Max. Every day <sighs> I'm told no. It does not work like that, Kurt, they say. I will ask again tomorrow. <laughs> As the days turned into weeks, I ran out of things to photograph. I wanted to get closer to the action and take pictures Julia would be proud of. <laughs> you might have knocked me down with a feather the day Barrett came to me and said, Harry, get your camera. We're going to the front. Jesus. April 1917, 19 months until peace. Oh, man, you know... You know, you know what would piss me off though about this story if, like, when the characters meet, we're forced to do some weird section where we we are forced to choose whether whether one of them dies or not. That's gonna piss me off. I hate that type of shit. Like, oh, here's two good characters. We're gonna force you to just do this choice, and it's like, well, okay, you're just making me play the game twice over so that I can see both endings. But you're just gonna force them to you're just force them to kill each other or something? Fuck off. <laughs> I really hope that doesn't do that. But yeah, let's go with Harry again. The front. What was life really like there? I'd photograph it all. What was life like there? Everybody was giblets. So this is it, Harry. The front. All the comforts of home. <laughs> find yourself an empty dugout, then come meet me for a drink. You'll find one over there somewhere. Ask around. Have some fun. Have some fun. Fuck you. I'm willing to take a picture of you standing like that. It's it's fun. It, it looks cool enough. I could have picked something more... Uh, uh, unflattering, but I decided to... Take a good, a better one. He told me to try and have fun. But there was nothing fun about Bimmy. Pictures you'd see in the papers back home showed happy faces, clean uniforms. That's not what I saw. Yeah, no shit! Everyone was turned to giblets! Union, you look fresh. If you get lost, just follow the signs. Alright. Hello, fellas. Oh, trench signs. That's a that's actually an interesting thing. I'll get you in the picture as well, Mr. Man. He doesn't want to show his face. What? You know what? Sorry, hope uh, you don't uh, mind that. Hope that wasn't uh, too much of an invasion of privacy. Photography is sort of like a... It's not exactly a forgotten art, but I feel like it's much less of an art nowadays because literally everybody can do it and then also fake all their photos. Back then, you can't really fake these, you know? Mm. Like, you can't fake this stuff. So it was definitely like an art form. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. 
Mm. Tell that to Stalin. <laughs> I don't understand. Did he fake a bunch of photos? Oh, right. He, there's, a, there's that famous photo of Stalin where he removed a guy from a picture as to imply that he was trying to, like, murder him or something. <laughs> I thought that was like a before and after photo, though, where they, they took the photo, then they killed him, then they retook the photo or some shit. I forget. Oh, this guy's not having a good time. This is an, this is an important historical thing to see. This needs to be seen. Get most of the gun in frame, but we want his center of mass to be at the, at the center of the photo. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Photos of random motherfuckers. I should save my stuff in case of there's something else important. Mm. Nice. I don't even know what that says because it's all watercolor faded and shit. Hey, new guy. If you ever need anything, you come see me. I'll trade anything. Come back once you've settled in. I hope there's no shooter mechanics that we have to go through. Huh. So this guy's just like the quartermaster, okay. Does he sell random lockpicks and iron axes? And then have an anvil where he does nothing with it? It's just there? With no other equipment? The men scratched and dug at lice in their uniforms, covered head to toe in mud. There were more rats than men, and the smell was like an overflowing toilet. <laughs> this was a million miles away from the adventure I expected. You gotta look I want to get this guy and the flag in, this in the picture, but I don't want to zoom in too much. This guy's about to walk in front of me. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, sorry, dude. So wait, we can only get I can only get pictured of like one. Now, I want to see the man. Here we go. talk to people. Hey, Harry, right? Harry Lambert. I've got a letter for you. What if I took a photograph of the letter? <laughs> That'd be so retarded. No free dugouts here, pal. Try closer to the front. They empty fast. Oh, no. Am I allowed to come in here? Get back to your post. This is the officer's quarters. Move on. Okay, fine. Piece of shit. Cat! 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 Where? <gasps> Kitty! I want the kitty to face me. No! No! How do I reload the game? How do I reload the game? How do I reload this game? How do I reload this game? <laughs> How does it work? Uh. What? I'm just afraid of, like, if I hit quit, if something bad will happen. You know what? No, no, no. 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 I refuse to have the cat fall down a well. It's not happening. Game, why did you just do that? I don't know why it resets its resolution.
The sun sets as I write this. It reminds me of home. Let's try that again. I am not fucking front. What was life really like there? I'd photograph it all. So this is it, Harry. I don't care that I'm restarting this whole thing. I am not having the cat Find fall into a well. Out, then come meet me for a drink. That is not funny to me. That is not around. funny to me. In any capacity. I'm going to wait for him to move forward. And then I'm going to take an unflattering photo of him. Unflattering photo. Haha. -ha, fuck you. I hate you. I wish I could run. Yeah, th this guy is clearly an officer who doesn't have to fucking put up with this bullshit that all the other people have to put up with. He told me to try and have fun, but there was nothing fun about Vinny. Pictures you'd see in the papers back home showed happy faces, clean uniforms. That's not what I saw. Sorry, my friend, I'm going to take this without your consent. Ah, uh, there's so much bottom on the ground. I could I should have tried to pull this up more to get more bar. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally did that. Oh. What am I doing? All right. You knew. You look fresh. If you get lost, just follow the signs. Probably not going to take all the same pictures I did last time, but. But maybe I actually am. Yeah, the sky is better look is better like if you have too much of an environment at the ground, it's better to have sky than ground, because the ground is kind of boring unless you're looking at like nature shit, like flowers and stuff or animals. Nice. Talk to this man again. I no I'll try anything. Come back once you've settled in. Can I take a picture of your uh, quartermaster thing here? Joe's Bazaar? Oh my god, is this a JoJo reference? Joe's Bazaar Adventure? Try to get a good image of him that doesn't look too stupid. Come on, I'm waiting for him to, like, look sort of in our general direction that's without being covered. Eh, that's pretty okay. That was acceptable. I'm not gonna take a picture of the poster again. That was kind of stupid. Yeah, no, no unique picture for those in particular. The men scratched and dug at lice in their uniforms, covered head to toe in mud. There were more rats than men. And the smell it was like an overflowing toilet. This was a million miles away from the adventure I expected. Joe's bizarre adventure. <laughs> uh. I don't forgot if I walked over here last time, so I'm gonna walk over here. God damn, this looks nasty. This looks pretty good. Get not too much ground in. Photographer, that job's cursed. Good luck, mate. Why is it a cursed job? You the new photographer? That job's cursed. Kitty. Good luck, mate. We are not pushing the cat into a well again. 
I don't like I don't know if the fucking developer thought it was funny, but it's not funny. Oh, it intentionally did that that time. Don't be afraid. Okay, that time it was intentional. <laughs> it, it jumped in itself on its own. I didn't like push it in there. It jumped down there of its own volition. Okay, let's get this one again. And let's get this one again. Guy almost photo bombed me. Get back to your post. This is the officer's quarters. Move on. The officer's quarter. I'm trying to get a better profile picture of it. But it's pretty flat here, so I can't really. I'm gonna wait until I actually can walk in there to get that. Hello, per no free dugouts here, pal. Try closer to the front. They empty fast. Hi. Harry, right? Harry Lambert. I've got a letter for you. <sighs> I took some good photos. I am going to send her the cat the cat photo. That's what I'm going to send her. Correspondence from the war. I'm delighted to hear from you, Harry, but I do wish you would use your photography talent in a slightly more positive manner. The picture of the bird is delightful, although I have seen a seagull before. You must have seen more exciting things on your travels. It's so difficult to understand what you're going through overseas. Please find a newspaper clipping enclosed. It has a photo taken by Major Martin Barrett. I didn't know he was a photographer, too. He is such an impressive man. Do you agree? Sincerely yours, Julia. Do you fucking see this motherfucker? Photo by Major Barrett. He's stealing credit for my own photos. Britain's War... Hero Major Barrett, veteran fighter, and something now admits to th this of uh, now adds to his titles, grow his list of growing credits, the title of photographer. To accompany the photos, Major Barrett writes of his. Pride seeing speed and efficiency of our troops. The speed at which they are able to assemble supply rails is quite astonishing. Fears of espionage. There are growing fears that Germany is sending spies to discover allied places and movements. Though largely unfounded, there were increasing numbers of reports that a shadowy figure dubbed The penguin is wrestling the rooms of unsuspecting. Okay. What if stolen Valor 2? Oh my god, I hope he dies. I hope he dies so badly. If you want to send a picture home to your girl, you just let me know. Oh, I can't take. Oh. I can only send these. Oh, come on. I want to send the cat photo. Maybe I have to wait until the next time that I can. for me to send a photo? Dig, dig, dig. This guy is cool. I like him. Um, this is just wine. I don't think she would find this very interesting. You know what? She might find the picture of this guy cool because he's a foreigner. So you know what? 
Wait a minute, doesn't he want us to send this photo to his family? Oh, we shouldn't send that to Julia. If if he wants this to be sent to his family. So never mind that. I guess we'll go with the wine. You know what? It's a it's a giant locomotive. Maybe she thinks that's impressive. Send two pictures to Julia. You hear what bulletproof Barrett? Survived a lot of battles, that man. Fuck you. Fuck this guy. I hope he dies. This stolen valor piece of shit mother I want to say a word that'll get me banned. We'll be I'll be dead in a week. Thanks for the vote of confidence, my friend. I know that you have witnessed everyone become giblets. But that doesn't mean you have to be a downer about it. Oh, that's a uh, Joe's Bazaar. Anything over here I've missed? Also, what the hell is this? Is this a, is this? That's a okay. That's a lamp with a very weird light effect around it. Filthy war. Sam Wise. No, Sam. It's okay. We'll be okay. You can't sleep here, man. Try the front lines. Good luck. Wow. Great. Excellent. Man, there's a lot of people here. Not having a good time. Are you taking my picture? I'm not ready. Okay, I won't do it then. I'm sorry. I reckon the brass will send us over soon. Everyone's saying it. Your sadness is so delectable. But he said he didn't want me to take it. So I'm not going to. I'm not an asshole, like Barrett. You bat for the major, right? Get lost. I bat for the major? Hey. I miss my wife. Relatable. <laughs> I need some food. Relatable. Let's take a picture of all of you guys. I think... Am I stopping you guys? No. To get it even farther away. I want to get a little bit closer. Maybe this is maybe this is good. Oh, the guy sleeping is out of frame though. I want to get him too. This might be hard though. No, this is pretty good. Photo bomber. That worked. Okay. Pop for the mage, eh? Fuck off. <laughs> Maybe the Brits are so cringe nowadays because all the based ones got killed in World War One. Okay, there's several things in there I'm gonna want to take a picture of. I cannot believe he fucking stole my photograph. I'm scared. I'm not. You scared? Well, good. Good. We need heroes. You know, we need people who are, you know, not afraid to be turned into giblets. Because that's, that is what will happen. Hey, a word of advice. Keep your head down. Fritz loves to snipe. They have snipers. Okay, great. By great, I mean bad. Because that's not a good thing. Okay, that's that guy. All right, so I sort of have an idea of the map shape. What's going on in here? Drinking soldiers and the bar. Okay, we'll get some good photos of that. What about these two? This is a nice looking cozy picture. Also kind of... Uh, Also kind of macabre. Bloody war. <laughs> Victory is just around the corner. 
Sure hope so. Okay, so I want to get a photo of these drinking soldiers and the piano man at the same time. That might be a bit of a tall order, though. Get your hand out of the way! And, uh, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. Now let's get a picture of this. Of this. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. Oh. Nope. <laughs> All right, nice. I think we're about to move forward now. To the trenches. Uh, where we're gonna not have a good time. This weight my hand is killing me. As opposed to, you know, the other things killing you. Your sadness is delectable right now. You're not telling me to fuck off, though, so... Mm. Nah, you're, you're just a sleeping motherfucker. It's fine. Oh, man, these guys are miserable. <laughs> Look at these fucking guys. They're fucking miserable. I like the shine of the sun. Shine of the sun right there is really good. All seems calm. Quiet. It won't last. Let we go over soon. You came here at the wrong time, my friend. More trenches. I could have probably gotten all three of them in. Oh, there's a sun... You know what? I should have done that, because there's a sunshine over there. What day is it? Yikes. A few months, they said. I must remember to write home today. Uh, the Major's new pet. Nothing for you here. Run along back to Mommy. What's a Canuck like you doing here? What's a Canuck? I didn't know- I didn't know that- Wait, 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 wait. Who said that? Vinny Ri- Vimmy Ridge. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm not ready. I didn't know that Canada was still a British colony. Uh, in in during World War One, I. I thought it was still. I thought it was independent by then. Card game part two or one of two. I should. Never thought I'd say it. But I really miss the wife. Boomers. Are these guys playing cards? No, they're eating. Are you scared? I am. <laughs> I miss my wife. They're only just vaguely starting to repeat lines. Uh, it's not too bad, though. I'm so cold here at night. More trenches. Oh, camera. You must be Barrett's new pet. So does this mean that Barrett... Oh, my... I just think I know what the plot is for Harry here. I think what happens is that Barrett takes credit for the photos of the photographers he's hi he hires. And he just immediately replaces them when they die in the trenches. And because they died in the trenches, that's why he can get away with saying that he took them. Oh, 
You're Barrett's new photographer. If you're looking for the front, just follow the signs to hell. Oh, I actually have to... This is a picture of the dudes. I thought it was like a picture of the, the structure or something. That's not bad. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. Glad we go over soon. You came here at the wrong time, my friend. I don't remember if I talked to that guy already. I think I actually might have. I think I walked this whole trail here, then turned, then like looped around. Hello. Jazz is a nice dude. He's a cool dude. Punctual as ever. You're relieving Lothar today. He's still down here somewhere. Oh, I'm relieving him? What happened to him? What happened to Lothar? What happened to Andu and Lothar? I hear they're transferring you out, Kurt. Four months is a long time to wait. Let's hope we're still alive by then. Dear Catherine. I was sent underground again today to the tunnels where we listened to the enemy. Lothar's shift ended as mine began. I really hope Barrett dies. I hate him. <laughs> you. Some men do not take to the darkness, but as you know, I've grown accustomed to it well. Max was scared of Dorg when he was young. Do you remember? Leave the lantern on, Papa, he would say. It would burn until morning. Ah, uh, I can't sprint anymore. Grab a lantern, you won't see anything without one. Don't tell me I have a fuel system to go by. Please don't let this turn into amnesia. Actually, if I'm going to be honest, this is scarier than a horror game, because it's real. It actually happened. A war like this, a war po as pointless and as devastating as this. Hey, is that you, Kurt? Over here. Quick, come and listen. There's noise above. I don't know where you are, Anduin. I'm trying to locate where my mouse cursor is. Okay, so that I can set it in the... We're underneath them. I want to hear a thing with you nagging in my ear. I know what I'm doing. I bet you're on rush and we're still here next month. You better not take a bullet in the meantime. So we are spying on them by digging underneath. That is fucking nuts. Dude, this fucking war was insane. I wonder if we're going to see any of the, the war pigeons as well. <laughs> Battle schedule, one of two. I think that's the way I came, actually. Let's keep going. Oh, man. Oh! Battle schedule. The precise timing of assaults helps synchronize the artillery and the troops to the front. This document from Robin Schaefer details Ger a, a German schedule. Assault times for the 113th Infantry Division. 450, break into the enemy first line. 540, assault against the station north of Tro Troisi. 625, assault against the military station of Troisi. 
645, assault against the northwestern edge of Tracy. 710, assault against the churchyard of Tracy. Uh, it, it sounds like I'm saying Jersey, but with a lisp. Tracy. It sounds like I'm saying Jersey, but, uh, but with, a, with a lisp. Artillery barrage on the bridge of Port Ab... Port Abinson is being lifted. 740, emerge from the eastern edge of Tracy. 740, assault against the positions north of Marielle le Port. Uh, crossing the Chasse Marielle Porte Bisson. Uh, at, at 750. 752, that's a very specific time. 905, assault against western edge of Sersuel. Assault against the Vineyard on Hill 218, the Forest of Missy. Assault against Livringe from northwest. 930, Creeping Barrage lifts and opening a path for the assault on the dominating height south of the Marine for a breakthrough through the Forest of Epernay. Okay. Interesting information. I don't mind hearing interesting information. I wonder... I forget what year Halifax happened. I want... I think it might have happened in, like, 1914, so this is like... Kurt, it's you! Put the lamp down and listen. Put the lamp down and listen. You hear the Tommies laughing. So English, probably all drunk. There's a loud one they call Sir, must be an officer. As usual, you'll find the sound. I'll translate. Everyone says we go over Monday, sir. Is that true? Oh, don't you boys worry about that. Just enjoy the whiskey. Tell the others there's more on the way. I'll see you gents later. This is uh, fucking nuts. Once, eh? Can you believe people did this? Holy shit. He's on the move. Let's follow. I heard you guys I heard you got your transfer request, Kurt. I'm jealous. They granted my transfer request, Catherine. Perhaps they grew tired of my asking. It will not be until August. But they will send me to the sun. To Max. Holy fuck. Though I have grave news to share also. Let's listen to more. There's my mouse. There it is. Okay. Uh-oh, they're listening for us. Oh my gosh, an NPC that's actually waiting for me. We're gonna play until we get to the end of this chapter. Um, I hope it's not ridiculously long to get to the next chapter trans transition. Did you hear that, Kurt? Where the hell do these rumors come from? Everyone's saying we attack on Monday. But, sir, I thought we do attack on Monday. Right? Yes, but they weren't supposed to find out yet. I need a bloody drink. Holy shit. Oh, we're gonna play cards! Oh, shit! Slap! Reach the required score to win. Press E to slap when two cards are the same. 
Other players gain points if you get it wrong. What? To slap when two cards are the same. You've heard the rumors, right? We go over the top soon. So let me ask you a question. Would you rather lose the war and live, or win the war and die? I know my answer. I've had enough of all this. I want to go home. Come on, friends. It's only a rumor. People say these things all the time. Fuck. That was easy, but okay. Is that a real card game? Everyone's feeling so down about this rumor. Music always cheers people up, but my guitar broke last week. I've nearly fixed it. I just need something for the pegs. Have you ever seen Barrett's fancy steel flask? The one he drinks from? I think I could use that. Go and find him. He likes you. Maybe he'll just give it to you. Okay. All right. Oh, this is the same. This is the. This is a. Uh, the place. A smoke. I can get. I can get cigarettes here if I want to. Yeah, Jass is too. He's he's such a good guy. He's definitely gonna be killed. Hey, I can play. I can play this stupid game more. Let's do it. Devastating. I am a master of lay slap. Um, there was a guy who said he wasn't ready to have his picture taken. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh. Oh, uh, we have a we have a bit of a break. We have a bit of a PTSD episode. Uh oh. Whoopsie Daisy. Whoopsie Daisy. Evidence that we are living in the Matrix. That's a reference you won't get in a hundred years, but pr I promise you, we will understand it very soon. You the new photographer? My job's cursed. Good luck, mate. That sounds like such an... Oh! Okay, I think we can go in here now, so... Harry, my boy! You found a dugout, I trust. Let's get another picture for the papers back home, eh? I hate Major you. Major Barrett plans the next brave offensive. Photo by Harry Lambert. <laughs> Wait! I should look professional. Let me put this flask down first. <laughs> right. Picture! Make sure you get Bimmy Ridge in the background. Hold on. C cigarette box. Oh, I couldn't take a picture of the armaments now. That sucks. I should I should just get really close to the cigarette box then. It's a very blurry photo, but... I guess he wants, like, a really big shot, I suppose? Maybe like this. Oh, come on, dude, come on. There you go. 
Asshole, I hate Good. you. Now rest up, son. Relax while you can. Okay, so let's uh get this to Jazz. Not sure where we have to go. I missed that fucking photograph of the armaments because I thought I could get a better version of it, but. Oh well. You got everything, Harry. Say, do you know how to play? No. Why would I know how to play guitar? You should head back up. Let's go, Kurt. Sniper and watcher. Cat cat. Four days from the date of this letter, we will be attacked by the enemy. I've been blind, Katrina. I've been a fool. I've never imagined I might die before I found Marx. Never stopped to consider I may not return home. Oh my goodness. Forgive me. Come on, Kurt. You know about the attack, though, so you can you can avoid it, right? Why the cat down here? Remember, the cat fell down the well, remember? So it fell down and was able to get into our tunnel. Should have returned immediately. Should have reported the news. But instead, I remained in the darkness. I could hear the enemy above me. They were playing music. Catherine, it reminded me so much of home. I lost track of how long I listened for. Oh man, I guess Harry does play. I'm not sure, like, do I have to hit it when the bar hits exactly zero? No, I have to hit it just within the time period. Oh my god, look at him monkey monkeying around. <laughs> Don't take what I said very seriously. Where did you disappear to, Kurt? Four days before the attack. This is bad. Yeah. Carl, come back. Sniper and watcher. No, stop it, mouse. This is a real photo. Snipers and watchers. Trench warfare consists of long periods of waiting. The two sides are sometimes less than a hundred meters apart. The main activity during the day is to watch the enemy using all kinds of periscopes and goggles. It is useful to know the layout of the terrain and carefully prepare assaults, but also to kill enemy soldiers if their heads appear above the parapet. The parapet. Sniper's role becomes crucial during World War I to spread fear among the enemy. The Germans are very effective with the accurate Mauser Gewer 98 rifle. On the other side, the Canadians are very skilled as they are used to hunting in Canadian forests. A frequent game is to tr target objects in the op opposing trenches, pans or barrels that make a clear sound when shot. Even the when the even when the enemy reacts with cheers at the skill of the sniper. That's another thing about World War 1 is that these guys kind of like just knew that they were like they weren't exactly they were they knew that the, the other side weren't necessarily monsters 
you know, like. But they're but they're sent to turn each other into giblets, and they're doing it because they just have to, because <laughs> they have been told that they have to. I wonder if my wife is thinking about me. I hope so. I'd do anything to go get home. I can't run. The enemy's got eyes everywhere, I know it. Kurt, come over here. What did you hear down there? Tell me where those rats are hiding. Oh no. This is where I heard music. They're dancing too. They should learn to keep their heads down. This is where Jas dies. Jas dies here. Some men here relish the opportunity to kill one. I do not. Who are we to say who lives and who dies? That is God's will, not ours. You start to make promises to yourself. Promises to do right. To live well. To be a better person. If I can survive this battle, I am one step closer to the sun. I will eventually get my transfer. I will finally be able to find our boy. Take a few photos. Return home a hero. That's what the Major promised. But he didn't say I'd be photographing the battles. He didn't say I could die. <laughs> I'm getting old, Katrin. I'm not a soldier. And I'm afraid, however, that this is where we're going to have to finally stop. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in two days, Friday, if you live in the United States. Um, this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And this game is awesome. I really like this. I really like narrative-focused stuff. This is very, very good so far, and it's... It is... It is... Like, there's a, there's a few simplicities. We found that one guy who was bugged into the wall. So there are, you know, there, you know, there are a few technical flaws, like repeating dialogue and that guy who was stuck in the wall, but... Other than that, the immersion is very, very good. Um, I can't... Other than little, tiny technical details like that, I can't think of a single flaw yet. So uh, I think uh, this is going to be really fun to continue playing. We'll probably go on it for about maybe a week and a half or so. Something like that. Maybe four streams. Potentially five. Probably not five, but potentially. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we started this up. It's very, very cool. And that's what we're going to be playing the next time we're here. So I should get out of here and actually eat. I haven't really eaten. So uh, thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I appreciate your support in every capacity. Hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. And I will see you all again very soon with more 1111 Memories Retold. Ciao!